This is Dr. Ron's words of wisdom, words on leadership, goal setting, productivity, and a whole lot more. I trust today you'll consider this like a vitamin or supplement for your mind and heart. And wherever you receive podcasts, be it iTunes, Stitcher, Spotify, and on and on, would you please go right now and subscribe to Dr. Ron's Words of Wisdom? Leave a rating and a brief written review. It really is helpful enabling others to be able to find this podcast. Thanks for joining today. I want to talk about the goals of a leader, especially in turbulent times like we're facing in the world today. And I just have nine quick things that I want to remind all of us, myself and all of us, of what should we do about our goals and leading during these turbulent times. I think whenever we face a turbulent time, we need to really come back to what is our foundation? What is the anchor? What is it that holds us? If you're a person of faith, then it's going to be God. What, what is that foundation that though everything else may be shaken, this one thing will not be? What are the values you hold to and ascribe? Don't lose them. Those would be the very things that I would do my best and am doing my best to hold on to. I want to keep being that kind of a person. So though everything around you may be changing and changing rapidly and swirling, and we are all seeking to navigate waters that we have not been in before that feel very much like rapids. Regardless of all that's swirling around us and all that's transpiring in the world, we have to keep our foundation firm, and it's okay to change things, and there are going to be a lot of things that are going to need to be changed and have to be changed. We understand that. But before you can start changing things, you have to be crystal clear on what are the things that I can't change and I can't compromise on. That is your personal foundation, your organization's foundation, your family's foundation. So right now, when you're in the midst of a turbulent time, one of the great things that you need to do is just make sure that you're standing on a firm foundation. The second thing I would want to say to you, leader, and regarding your goals uh, during these turbulent times is stay in the game. Don't run and don't hide. Whenever we're facing some unusual times, we, we kind of want to run away or we want to daydream back to the good old days. And the good old days was about a month ago. We, we want to go back to the way things used to be. Now, it may be, in fact, that many things will go back the way they used to be, but there's always a sense in which not everything will go back the way that it used to be. But right now, you and your organization, your family and your friends need you, my friend, to stay in the game. You can't run. If you're the leader, you can't run. This is why you are where you are for such a time as this. Don't go into hiding. I don't mean that you have to be bugging people every moment of the day, but stay in the game. We need you. You're important. Stay with it. So right now I'm saying make sure you understand that your foundation is firm. Make sure you stay in the game. Don't abandon, don't run, or don't hide. Number three is be open and honest. I was in a Zoom meeting yesterday with some colleagues And there was a lot of discussion about good things that are happening right now and some things that aren't so good. And I think there was an honest discussion over the fact that we know there are many people in our world who are suffering from depression and anxiety. I have to admit that there are even times as we're going through this that that I feel a sense of sadness, sadness that I'm not able to participate in some of the things I was participating in, sadness that there is this sense at times of isolation, and it's all right. And and uh, you just need to be open and honest. Leader, you don't have to have all of the answers. It's all right at times to be vulnerable, and it's especially noteworthy in times like this to display a transparency that says, I don't know what all the answers are for everything today. I don't know exactly how we're going to get through this. But I promise you, we are going to get through it. 
and we are going to get through it together and we'll be better together. So let's just be open and honest. Don't go around like this isn't bothering you. You have it all figured out. First of all, everyone knows that's not the case. Be open and honest. Perhaps the person we need to be most open and honest with today is ourself. We don't have all of the answers. It may even be we didn't see these things coming. But let's work our way through it, which leads to number four, one that drum that I am beating very strongly in these days, and that is the area of self-care. Get out and somehow, even if it's in your own yard, and do some physical exercise. Feed your spirit. Feed your mind. Look after other people. But it's not selfish to participate in self-care. We need you. We need you in the game. We really are depending on you, leader. Therefore, we really, really want you to know we want you to take care of yourself spiritually, physically, mentally, and emotionally, and do whatever it takes, whether it's prayer, Bible reading, physical exercise, calling your parents, speaking to folks, reaching out to others. Make sure you take some time today to take care of yourself. Number five, I think in a turbulent time leader, it makes sure you're checking in with your team. Now, we can just assume that everyone's professional. Everyone knows what the expectations are. Everyone knows what they should or should not be doing. But it's good for the leader, whether it's via email or text or telephone or a teleconference or via any other mechanism available to you today, just to check in. Ask how they're doing. Not just how the company's doing, not just how the enterprise is moving, but ask them about themselves, their families, their concerns, their fears, their concerns, their aspirations. Leader, it's a time for us to really ramp up the empathy and check in with our team. We really need them. They are valuable. And they are flesh and blood women and men who have families, who have bills, who wonder how they're going to make it till Friday. You and I need to listen to them, not just continually talk over them, but listen to them, hear their fears and concerns, and to see that if together we can't figure out a way to get through this and to be better because of the process. So listen and, and check in with your team. The sixth thing that a goal that we should have for these turbulent time is because the days are so different and things are happening in warp speed, don't throw your vision away. I mentioned earlier in the week that there are some things I am doing differently. There are some things that were goals that I had for the year that I haven't thrown them away and I haven't forgotten about them, but I'm having to manage them from an arm's length. And so I'm, I'm saying I have not thrown that away, but I am tweaking it. I'm still seeking to do the things that I need to do during this time but I'm not going to throw my uh, vision away. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tweak. So even if you have to set parts of it on the shelf because of the unusual day that you're living in right now, don't give up on your vision. Again, if you have to tweak it, you have to pull back, you have to adjust. That's a normal thing to do during turbulent time, but just don't throw it away or give up on it entirely. The seventh thing I would say is be passionate. Now, that sounds a little uh, different than everything else that I have been saying. We need leaders who still believe in the cause, still believe about what they are to be doing and are passionate about. And your passion will come through because you will begin to encourage and spur others on by saying, yes, I know it's a tough time right now, and we're just going to put our heads down and we're going to do our best to get through it, but we shall get through it. This too shall pass. We have been called to do this. We are going to make a difference, and we are going to get these things done. I, I'm not talking about a fake it till you make it. I'm talking about a genuine heartfelt. You are totally convinced about what it is you've been called to do, what it is you are doing, and you exude a passion. You talk about a virus. Passion is 
is virus-like in that it, if it exudes from you, it can't help but spill over on other people and, and just sort of be the nudge that we need. Be great if we as leaders would not only be able to encourage ourselves, but we would be the nudge for someone else. And that leads me to the eighth goal that we should have as leaders during turbulent times, and that is just to be courageous. Courageous people are not people who are numb to fear. They are people who fear, feel fear, but move ahead anyway. Every great leader has led during very troubling times, and what they have done is they've just pushed forward. They screwed up their courage. They sought through prayer or encouragement or reading or just meditating to, to get help, to be courageous, to be reminded, I am here for a time like this. If it were easy, anyone could do it. I need to be courageous. I need to have the courage to take one more step forward. Uh, the ninth and final thing that I'm going to say as we talk about what should be our goals as leaders during turbulent times is don't forget you need to manage well. Oftentimes there is this dichotomy, there is this tension between leadership and management. And I've read the literature and I've heard the lectures and, and I understand what the basic principles are. But there is a sense in which if you're a manager, there are times you have to lead. And likewise, it's also true as a leader, there are things that you have to manage. Those of you who are managing companies or managing departments as a leader, the word management is there. Make sure you check in with how everything is doing. You think about how are we going to manage this. I heard a person yesterday say that every crisis we go through, every troubling time we go through should really be a learning experience. One person said they learned that when the last economic turned down about a decade ago was the fact that they didn't have much cash. They had no emergency fund. And so in the last 10 years, they slowly, surely, incrementally have built up a emergency fund to help them through these tough times. If you don't have that now, that'd be one of the things you ought to write in your little book about things I am learning during this crisis is I must learn to be a saver. I must, there, there are other lessons. I need to do this. I need to stop doing that. Whatever it is, there are things you need to manage, not just the organization, but yourself. But remember, smooth seas never have created a good captain or sailor. It is where we learn how to do things is going through the storms of life. And right now, you and I are going through a storm. Don't forget what your foundation is. Stay in the game. Don't run. Don't hide. Be open and honest about how you're feeling. Make sure you invest in yourself through self-care physically, spiritually, emotionally, mentally. Listen and check in with your team. You might try that today. Don't give up on your vision. You may have to tweak it, but don't give up on it. Find the courage to be passionate and don't forget to manage what's yours to manage very well today. You've been listening to Dr. Ron's words of wisdom, words on leadership, goal setting, productivity, and a whole lot more. I hope today it's been like a vitamin or supplement for your mind and heart. And again, wherever you receive podcasts from, if you would please subscribe to Dr. Ron's words of wisdom, leave a rating and a brief written review. It will really help others to be able to locate this podcast. Remember my leadership friend, even in difficult days like this, you are making a difference, and you are doing better than you think you are. You really are. And until next time, this is Dr. Ron saying, have a great and blessed day.